Hey guys, Drag here, coming at you with news in the DDS card game. There's been an update on this guy right here, the Mecha Frieza leader. And while it's not exactly what people wanted, you could call it a bit of a step in the right direction. So, without further ado, let's actually look and see what this update that I posted was. Okay. Thank you for your continued support of the Dragon Ball Super card game. Typical Bandai fashion. We've heard a fair amount of concerns from parts of the player base that about deck using P028 Frieza Bionic Strike Mecha Frieza to win on the second turn of the game. These decks use Bionic Strike Mecha Frieza to reduce the cost of extra cards while trading life in cards for cards in hand. They play cards like Victorious Fist Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku, Fearless Pan, and the Hyper Evolution Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku by turn 2 attacking multiple times to win. Most of the messages we've received have expressed concern that this strategy is so fast that unless you play a deck specifically designed to counter it, winning against it is nearly impossible. Players are rightfully concerned that this will result in a degenerate and unbalanced play environment. As the design team, our view of the situation is as follows. Though the deck has extremely strong strategy in turn 2-3, to three, it has a hard time winning after that, particularly if, battles, if its battle cards are removed. There are also several decks that win against it. There are still other decks that can win in a tournament environment as well. However, we also understand that the existence of a strategy that can win on turn 2 is discouraging to new players and those who aren't aware of how to counter it. The Dragon Ball Super card game is growing, more players are learning the game and getting involved in the community on a daily basis. For this reason, we're keeping a watchful eye on Bionic Strike Mecha Frieza going forward. Bionic Strike Mecha Frieza will be officially added to our watch list. The act of adding a card to the watch list itself does not mean that the card will be restricted in constructed gameplay or its skills will be changed, but we may issue an errata to the card's text based on how things play out. As we have in the past, we will continue to observe the state of the game, making adjustments as necessary to provide a fun, exciting play experience for both Dragon Ball fans and seasoned card game players alike. Okay. Now, like I said, it isn't exactly what people wanted, but it's a step in the right direction. At least Bandai's paying enough attention to realize that there is a potential issue with one of their cards, and seeing how big an issue is going forward when the stuff is actually released. So, it's a good thing for the little fanboys that are actually going to play the deck, because the work people went into the build is doesn't really seem like it's for nothing. And it's still great, because the people that are really kind of scared of the deck are probably going to get their wish of the errata on the Mecha Frieza card which people have kind of wanted since last set. Bandai actually seems to be actively trying to keep this game going, and I really commend them for it. However, I actually want to hear your guys' opinions on this new update. You guys think that giving the deck playtime might actually hurt the game, or do you guys think that people will enjoy having the deck around for at least a week or two? Let me know in the comments section down under, and let's see what y'all think. Anyway, it's like 8 a.m., it's early. I'm very tired, so I'm going to go like, out and mentally prep for my locals tonight. See you guys I know there, and to anyone else, keep the chill going. This is Drag, signing off.